I'm Randall Berg, your concierge yacht broker with lovethatyacht.com. And I'm sitting in the salon of a 64-foot Out Islander trawler offshore expedition yacht. This is hole number one, and it truly shows it. It's magnificent from the layout, the fit and finish, the way the cockpit's set up, the bridge, the cabins, the wiring inside. It's made to go places and be easy to maintain. It's got big engines, and you can idle it for low fuel consumption. Got big propellers that you can kick her up to 18 knots if you need to get some play. Twin hydraulic bow and stern thruster, so you keep your finger on it for as long as you want. Twin anchor windlass. The cockpit and aft decks are set up for sport fishing and for sport. It's a Mickelson style boat designed by Tom Fexis, who designed Mickelson. So it's got that sport stern cockpit look and usability. It's built in the same yard that builds offshore yachts. So the fit and finish is extraordinary inside the boat. Engine room is a full headroom walk-in engine room. You can walk around both engines. You can get at everything. Every wire has its place. Every piece of plumbing has its place. The engine room is really a work of art. I looked under the pilot house bridge wiring room and the same thing, White, right angle turns on the hydraulic line, the wiring, they're marked, they're coated, they're locked in bridles. This is a great boat. Everything about it is built the way it should be built. And so, uh, oh, and it's got five driving stations, not one, not just the inside helm or just two inside helm and the bridge helm, but there's two wing stations at the bridge and you can walk around outside to get to them. And there's a stern station with full bow thrusters, bow and stern, engine controls, and a wheel. So you can literally drive the boat backing down on fish or picking up moorings or whatever you want to do. Take a look at the video. Enjoy it. Contact me. You can buy this boat for less than half of what it takes to build one today. Probably a third. And do it now. It's turnkey if you want to go offshore and explore the world without waiting two years to have one built or a year to have one prepped. This is your boat. So I'm Randall Brewer, your concierge yacht program at lovethatyacht.com. Enjoy the video and be sure to subscribe to my video. Thank you. So here she is, the 64-foot Out Islander. You can see the incredible lines of the boat, the strengths, the usability, the overhangs, how they're set up, uh, really protects you from the elements. Those are your wing stations. Here's your protected walkway up to the bell. Incredible hull, beautiful lines, great window set up, great railings. Look at that bow and the flare. It's really something special. This is typical. This is your transom door, heavy duty hinges, and look at the angled closure. It's very unusual design. There's where your docking lines are and your cockpit, big open cockpit. That's your letter up to the bridge. There's the tender up in the back of the bridge, and you have seating in the cockpit mezzanine area with a full steering system in the mezzanine area. Full bow thruster, bow and stern, controls, and a wheel. You've got a nice sink and a big stainless refrigerator and a reach-in freezer and a great stainless barbecue. And there's your electrical location. You've got cameras. And so this is your engine room access from the cockpit, waterproof door. And then there's two generators, port and starboard generators. And next to it, there's a hatch. Open the hatch, there's your water maker and other equipment right there. And there's your walkway, beautiful non-skid walkway molded in two-tone. Going up to the bow, you're at your Portuguese bridge style bow. As you can see, lots of storage. There's your ladder to the upper deck. There's seating with storage. Just a great system, usable. There's your non-skid decks. And looking at the anchoring system with dual 3500 Maxwell electric windlasses and carries two anchors simultaneously with a great pulpit. Inside is where it all happens. There's your salon, great table, fantastic woodwork. The carpets have a covering. This is typical offshore look, woodwork fit and finish. What's unique is the shades are held within an area so they don't rattle around, especially built. Look at this table with the burled woodwork. There's your wine rack and more equipment. There's your inside air conditioner. Stairs going up to the pilot house and down to the master cabin, right? Master cabin right there. Here's your galley. Wow. Look at this galley. Beautiful counters, great woodwork, big open spaces. You've got your oven, 
you've got your compactor, full-size refrigerator, stove, microwave, just everything you need. There's your air conditioning controls in the galley and, of course, a big floor storage area in the galley. And then looking to the starboard side of the boat, that's your seating area from the galley. Uh, it does go up and down, see the crank there, so it converts to sleeper. It's a great area to just have a meal and talk to a friend. There's your galley again. These are black vinyl covers on all of the surfaces. They've all been fully protected, that beautiful burled surface. As your pilot house, downstairs pilot house, everything is there. Great seats, beautiful counters that you can see with the covers on them. And your balanced stern thruster. There's your dual Furuno instruments. There's your radio and your autopilot and your engine instruments, your balanced stern thrusters and your wheel center and trim tabs. There's your digital stabilizers. These are bilge pump counters, so you know what your bilges are doing. And of course, your water maker and uh, other equipment. There's two electrical panels right there and breakers for your windlass. Pilot House Refrigerator, dual overhead hatches. Now this is access to your wiring behind the electrical system. It's incredible how clean it is, how accessible it is. There's even a note plate there for everything. There's your Panagraph door, port and starboard. And there's details and the incredible wood work that goes into this. Stairs up to the bridge. Here's where the rest of the magic happens, up on the bridge. All the equipment's there. Full canvas covers for everything. Hard top overhead protects you from the elements. These are the tables with the covers off, the chairs with the covers off. There's a walkway to the back where your tender and davit and life raft are. And then you've got an ice maker up on the bridge. Now these are your wing stations, port and starboard. You can walk out to them. And you've got full engine controls and balanced stern thrusters, port and starboard. And up on the bridge, you got your radar dome, your open array radar, and all the other equipment you need. Now, these stairs go up to the galley pilot house, down to the master. So going down to the master, it's got its own entrance. There's the hallway into it, and there's a makeup table with uh, AC controls right there. This is your master cabin with a big walk around queen. Lots of cabinets. Again, all the counters are covered with custom vinyl covers. Lots of hanging lockers, big hanging lockers. There's the matched burlwood on one of the counters with a cover off. Beautiful. And the portholes are just fantastic works of art in themselves. It's your makeup station again, cover on, cover off. Under the bed, there's storage all around under the bed. And look at the burlwood detailing. And there's a GPS right next to the bed. Now, this is your head. These are headhunter heads and your counters and a big walk-in shower with lots of hanging lockers there. Now, this is your forward guest staterooms. This is the VIP queen for walk around. Similar accoutrements to the master. Nice counters, lots of storage. Storage underneath. Nice burled wood another storage locker. And then this is your guest VIP. There's two beds, raised beds. There's lots of storage underneath. Beautiful wood. Same fit and finish throughout the entire boat. But both those cabins have a shared head in the hallway. And it's a beautiful head. Great counters, great woodwork with full showers. So now we're in the engine room. Wow, this is a full stand-up engine room. Look at how the wiring and plumbing are done. It's got its own AC. Can you imagine AC in your next engine room? Here it is. So great engines, Caterpillar engines. You can see the exhaust systems and the refrigeration system and the reverso and your fuel polishing system here with its timer. Timer. You can see all the hoses and lines are run properly and in a craftsmanship-like uh, manner. There's your oil filters, there's your transformer, heavy duty engine mounts that isolate the engines. There's your port and starboard stabilizer controls and your oil tank for the stabilizers. And of course your raw water filters. And so this is shots out of the water. Look at that hull, it's a deep hull. 
But the interesting thing is, is there's tunnels for the propellers. So it's not extremely deep draft. The keel mostly protects propellers, not quite, but it keeps it stabilized with that big uh, keel. So there you go. I'm Randall Burr, your concierge yacht broker at lovethatyacht.com. This is one of the most interesting passage making yachts you will find. You must see it if you're looking for something like this. Call me and I'll get you on board. Randall Burke, love that yacht. Thank you.